This is Market Taker Mentoring's Options Impact. This is Tier 4, the MTM Trading Path, Cluster 2, and this section is on the psychology of trading. Options involve risk. Prior to buying or selling an option, a person must receive a copy of characteristics and risks of standardized options. Copies are available from your broker or by calling 888-OPTIONS, which is the Options Clearing Corp. Psychology of Trading Are great traders just born that way? Is being smarter necessarily give you an advantage in trading? Is studying stock charts until you are blurry-eyed the answer? Or is it just plain dumb luck? The answer is probably not. There are some requirements to su succeed in trading. A commitment to success, having a trading plan, and being able to master your emotions or the psychology of trading. Let's look at commitment to success. Why do people want to become traders? People want to become traders, become more wealthy and successful. Who isn't committed to that, right? All you need is some money, some charts, and a platform. Sign me up. I'm committed to do all that. But they can be in for a rude awakening. People find out that trading is work. It's not as easy as they thought it was going to be from their friend Al that told them it would be easy to do it. He's made a lot of money on some options. Why can't you? They struggle and they tend to lose their focus and they forget about their original goals. You have to be committed to achieving success or you'll have zero chance of getting there. Trading plan, which is just like a business plan. Trading is a business, and you need, it to, you need to treat it in that manner. Now, a trading plan is the part that no trader wants to do. A lot of traders will say, you know what, I don't need a trading plan. It's all in my head. I know what I need to do and when I need to do it. If that was the answer, everyone would be a great trader because most people have their trading plan in their head, but it needs to be written down. To start, you need to take an inventory of yourself. Examine yourself. What are your strengths and weaknesses? And be honest. Be honest about it because you're only fooling yourself. The plan must match your personality, otherwise it's not going to work. So here are some of the trading plan components. Goals, money management, strategies, trade management, and follow-up and review. Let's start with goals. This is going to be part of your commitment level, your goals. You need to set long and short-term goals, and not just monetary-wise, what you plan on accomplishing by trading. Maybe helping your family out, take more vacations, be set in your senior years, but set some goals. That's the drive the reason you're trading in the first place. Now the money management part. Here's where you have to figure out how much you are going to risk per trade per strategy. There are so many different option strategies you'll have to figure out a different risk reward ratio a ballpark at least for every strategy you come up with. Trades. How many trades are you going to take maybe per day, per week, or per month? Have that written down in this money management area too. You should have daily, weekly, and monthly loss limits as well, and profit targets too. And the key is your loss limit should always be less than your target. In other words, if you say you're going to risk $1,000 a week, don't set a target of $500 a week. You'll give yourself too much leeway and it really will be tough to be profitable as a trader. 
strategies. If you're new to option trading, start with just one or two. Maybe as simple as the long call or long put. If you start out with too many strategies or complex strategies, you tend to lose focus. And you need to define in detail what setup you are looking for for an entry point on these strategies. I'm looking for the stock to pull back to a support point or rally up to a resistance level. But you need to define in detail all these. Do not simply copy and paste from a manual. Write it by hand. And the key is define in detail that a person that maybe doesn't even know anything about trading can read it and understand exactly what you are looking for from your written strategy plan. Now the trade management. Many traders focus on the entry and not enough on the exits. Who doesn't get excited about finding a great trade setup? But barely any traders, at least at first, focus on how am I going to manage this trade until after they're in it. So you need to come up with a trade management plan before you even enter the trade. How are you determining targets and stops? Know this before you get in. Maybe you're going to set a set target at a level, percentage level, or maybe if a stock goes to a certain area and the stop's the same way. Maybe you'll say you'll risk 20% of what I paid for this option, or if the stock trades down to this level, I exit the trade altogether. And how about multiple targets and stops? Maybe you'll have multiple targets take some off at this level some at a higher level and same thing with stops. Maybe you'll put some stops at break even and give a little leeway to some other ones. And what if my targets or stops are exceeded? Have something in your trade management plan for that as well. Remember the primary goal of a trader is to protect his or her capital. Follow up and review. That's why we record our trades. When we get in the trade, during the trade, and when we exit the trade. So we can review them. And when you review them, you need to be your toughest critic. Did you follow your written plan? If not, why not? And that's what you need to find out. So keep a trading journal of all your trades. Mastering your emotions. I'm sure some of us have looked that way after a trade. So. This is the psychology of trading part. It's the most overlooked part of trading, and it could be the most important. Fear of failure is the number one enemy of confidence. And that's a lot of traders' fear, is failing on a trade. You know what? You need to accept that you will be wrong, be wrong often, and sometimes you'll be completely wrong. That's understandable. That happens with traders. Remember, discipline is not perfectionism. It's probably the most common source of performance anxiety for traders. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to be right 100% of the time, so you need to understand that. So how do we master our emotions? Simple solution. Just like we talked about, having a trading plan. Outside of your trading plan, you're wandering in the wilderness of emotions. You don't have any set rules for yourself. You might just be out of control and maybe taking profits too early, taking stops too late because you don't want to be wrong, so you need to have a trading plan. Making a trade should be a reflex action. You have your strategy written down, you see it, you take it, you know what your target is, you know what your stop loss is. It should be an automatic reaction. The two emotions that you never want to enter into your trading is hope and fear. Remember, it's not you against the markets, it's you against your mind.